Welcome everybody to Charlotte Motor Speedway, race number six of the airlift convertible for classic convertible series. Al Legacy is on pole for today's race. Here's the full qualifying results, and now I'll take you to trackside. So just about to get the race command here. Dur All right, engines, engines are fired up. We are ready to race. Field is rolling off, and uh oh, Connor Breeden, the points leader, Talladega and Darlington winner, already having troubles. It is a mechanical. 48's got a tire. That's Fisher in a 48. So yeah, I was about to say Connor Breeden, who is now our new points leader, getting nine positions. Uh, Tokoyami remains in second. Jeff Scott goes up 8 positions, he is 3rd, David Davison is up 9, he is 4th, Luke Contreras goes up 1, moving up to 5th. Biggest mover was Tim Randolph getting 11 spots, Noel Holiday loses the most, losing 14 spots down to 23rd in, this position, in the point standings. So alright, it's getting ready to go green here, Al Legacy in the 34 leading us to the green flag. Race car is in. And green flag is out. We're underway here at Charlotte. Three wide already. 77 of Brad Cheston. Got more three wide racing back there. Down the back straight away they go. The, here comes a three. If you can just get across the line, we could probably see what happens before he retires from the race. The bottom groove doesn't look good. Saw Brad Chesson get a little sideways as Al Legacy leads lap number one to 64 to the inside, looking for the race lead. Legacy in the 34, hanging strong on the top lane. Three wide, here we go. Nope, not quite. <laughs> Came close. Yeah, you can see, yep, they're struggling on that bottom. Definitely gonna be hard to pass today. Usually not, uh... Doesn't really happen here at Charlotte. Happened a few times, but not a lot. They're still running in a big pack back here. And the three did not get across the line, so we have no idea what happened to him. I mean, we know it's mechanical, but exactly what? Big lead for the 34 here. Sixty-four. Big run there to do turns one and two. Really closed the gap. Was four tenths back. But you just can't really use the inside there. All over the back bumper. He's just pushing on him. Oh, he takes the outside. Smart move. Maybe, but doesn't get a nose on top. They'll force the legacy to take the bottom. You don't usually see drivers take the top lane on purpose, usually. And here they comes the 86. He's also closed in on the leaders. Legacy goes to the bottom. Yeah, that force is 64 on the top. He'll hang on the second, but he loses ground with Legacy in the 34. Brad Chesson is fourth. Here comes Wes McCoy in the two. He's in fifth. 48 at Fisher. Looks like the tire is not bothering him. He's still out there. Let's just hope it doesn't blow. Ends up causing a wreck. Very spread out here. Oh. 
Looking inside, just looking. Now he's fully committed. Takes a wave down to the bottom. Oh, and he slides up, almost wipes out Legacy any closer. Both those cars will be in the wall by now. Uh, he really wants that lead. Yeah, it gets frustrating when you're taking the... You know, you're trying to make a pass and you just can't do it. You just can't do it for some reason. He's got to run. He's got a lot of run. Or a lot of help from behind. Here he comes. The 86... 77. Let's take the bottom again. Through the middle. Oh, man. And uh, Michael will go around and he'll take second thanks to that move. Great pass. Just got to time it right. Here they go. Three wide for fourth place. Brad Cheston loses out. He's way too high there. Not in the middle. The middle appears to be the preferred line. Here goes the 86, the rookie, looking to the bottom. The 64 car right behind him too. Now he's going to try the bottom line. Down the back straightaway. Doesn't come close. Not even side by side. A two car might be able to snag a spot. No oh, Fisher clipping the apron. Oh, I thought I was going to come down pit road. Thought the tire wasn't going to hold. The 86 car again. The 64 behind him. He can't push him through the turn. It's not going to work. To a West McCoy. Looks at the inside. The 80 64 just squeezes. Just fills the gap. Oh, he might might have gotten him. Oh, not quite. He almost had him beat, but they're still side by side. The 86 will beat him to the line, though. Almost. Almost. If you send it in there hard enough, maybe you could slide up door the, the guy on the outside. That's probably the only way to do it. Here's the rest of the field. Yeah, you can see... They're pretty far back. You saw the qualifying speeds. They weren't, weren't close. I think it was like within two seconds. The difference. Got that momentum again. I mean the bottom is pretty much the only way you can really pass. You could find your way to the top. Gonna be tough though. Couldn't even go caution free at Charlotte. That might be a first. A caution free race at, <clears throat> at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Now you never know. Still got plenty of racing left to do. So far, Al Legacy season has been. Where is he in the points? Al hasn't been the greatest, but he's just started. 24th in the points, he gained 6 spots after the Talladega race. Right now leading the race here at Charlotte, looking for a win. A 10 points difference between 1st and 2nd. Well, 11 points, because you win a race. You get the extra point for leading the lap, so 11 points. Yeah, you don't want to move to the outside when you're in the turns. Because then you just destroy your own momentum by doing that. You saw Michael try to do that. He should enter the turns on the outside. Don't change lines in the turns, in the corners. It's not going to help. not going to work. Yeah, they might need to be super aggressive here. Might need to race a little dirty if they want to pass each other. Especially what if they want to take the lead away. Brad Chester now. Gonna try for a second.
Yeah, they just keep uh, slowing down or lifting on the bottom. Just get beat every time because of that. From the back of the pack, you can see nothing much going on here. Oh, well, they're still running in, a, in their own little packs. Still running three wide. Probably the only group that is running three wide. The 86 is going to try again. This time he's just looking. He's staying with the 34. He's not making a move. Yeah, he's just pushing him and now he's going to go. Is that going to help? Push him as hard as you can. Make the move to the inside. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, that was a good effort. Maybe he's just trying to push him into the turns a lot faster than he wants. Yeah. Just uh, didn't work out. Brad Chester now. Around the outside. Will he take second? Might be able to. Got cars on both sides. And Cheston ends up losing positions. Lost three spots right there. I thought it was to get second. Oh, the two car. Whoa, sideways. Oh, they got a little too close. That nearly caused a wreck. Oh, right in front. Oh, careful cutting down. Justin's just all over the place right now. Yeah, he's a little too high. Even though the outer groove is a better, is the preferred line. Don't want to go too high. Want to stay right in the middle. And yeah, Brad Justin is losing a lot of positions. He's probably outside the top ten now. All right, back to our leaders here. Three-way battle. Still finding a way around the 34. Fisher and Casino. Or Cancino. Or, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, these two got to work together. If they can. Near two second lead, big lead for uh, between first and fourth. Wow, that was that happened real quick. Was it because of the 77? No, I don't think so. But yeah, they just fell back. Like everyone just lifted or something. They were pretty bunched up. That could be the reason why. Whoa, that low, pretty close to 55 into 22. To our leaders again, the 86 on the bottom, it's just trying and trying, trying so hard. It's nowhere else to go really. He can't go too high, or else he'll just fall back. Can't go too low because it's just not enough grip. He might have to play dirty. Fisher has fallen back a bit. Mostly single file for pretty much everybody up until here. Gonna be 10 to go coming to the line. Been a very clean race. A few close calls, but overall, 
Uh, like I see, he has definitely gotten the bonus point for leading the most laps. 112 points is the most you can get. These guys aren't uh, maybe fast in those days. 160 miles an hour. Okay, so I'm lifting right there. Got on the brakes a bit. Fisher attempting the pass, and here comes the rest of the field, who was two seconds back, and now they have closed back in. Here's Cole Colby, all the way in the bottom lane. Side by side here. Three wide. Luke Contreras we see on the bottom. The number 94. Yeah, able to make it work. Wow, we actually got two cars on the bottom. He got by Colby and the 99 of uh, Max Anderson. Legacy still leads. 86 car is still second. Fisher still third. Closing back in. The 64 is still fourth. Here's West McCoy in fifth. Laps are winding down. Three-way battle once again. Here they go. Gonna make it three wide, maybe. Oh, if they can get in three wide, that might be another way to do it. Uh, as you can see, if Michael was a little bit closer, he might have forced Legacy to the top lane and he would have gotten the lead there. They came close. That might be a new strategy there. Might not need to play dirty. Five to go here. Fourth and fifth have closed in once again. Our 64, Giorgio going around the outside. Can he get third? I think he's going to get third. Or maybe not. Two on the bottom. No, he didn't get, he's not going to get third. Here they come. Four laps to go left there at Charlotte. Heard a car scrape the wall, possibly. But no further incident. Yeah, you can see a piece of debris. Someone hit the wall. No need for a yellow. Eight tenths Fisher is over a second for the 64. Now under a second. Coming to two laps to go here. A caution-free race so far. Definitely hard to take the lead away. The pass for the race lead. Pretty much a one-groove racetrack at Charlotte. I don't know why. Tim Randolph in the 19. 
It's coming down Pit Road. He saw skid marks on the back straightaway. So there was a wreck. Possible wreck, but no caution. As we're coming to the white flag, one more lap to go. It's been a dominating day for Al Agassi. They've been on him pretty much almost the entire race, but no one could pass him. As long as everything holds up, he's got this. Through three and four, you know they're not going to get him. Chucker flag is in the air. Al Legacy is going to come around and win at Charlotte. All right, let's take a look at the full race results first. So, maximum points for Al Legacy, leading every single lap and winning the race. The rookie, the 86, Michael Cancino, uh, finishing second. He tried, tried, tried so hard but just could not get that lead. Fisher finishing third, Giorgio fourth, Wes McCoy fifth, Luke Contreras sixth, Max Anderson seventh, Cole Colby eighth, Blake Peters ninth, and Noah Spall tenth. Here's the rest of the race results. Tim Randolph out of the race there at the end, and Connor Breen did not even start the race, but he'll still get points. And uh, let's take a look what happened to Tim Randolph. So our only wreck of the day just happened with three laps to go, and they didn't want a caution. It looks like they stacked up pretty bad coming off turn two and Tim Randolph straight into the wall pounds the inside he goes for a spin I know right the smoke is in here because I was originally going to do a dirt track but uh, you know how the dust kind of sometimes kick up and then there's yeah I was going to use Augusta but Augusta wasn't so great going to need some adjustments but anyway that's what happened to Tim Randolph there our one and only wreck did not trigger a yellow so we were caution free, but we weren't wreck free. So that is it here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Let's take you to Victory Lane. Oh, there's no Victory Lane uh, thing in the track. Okay.